Let's finish this lesson out by drawing the gamble roof. The gamble roof, or as I like to refer to it, the barn house roof, is pretty straightforward, although it does have a couple challenges as you draw it in SketchUp. First thing that we want to do is use the arc tool. And instead of 12 sides, let's go ahead and change that to 4. So I'll type in 4 and hit Enter. Now the trick when you're drawing this, remember the arc tool is a three-click process. First click starting point, second's ending point, and third is the radius. You want to sort of orbit and view to force it to go in the blue axis. So you don't want to be down on the ground like this. You kind of want to be sort of at elevation with it. Click on my first click, and then my second, and then my third, you'll notice it is in fact going in that blue axis. And I'm going to bring this up 10 feet. So far, so good. When I go to push pull this, notice what happens. And this happens with all arcs as well as circles. See how it is hiding or smoothening the endpoints. We don't want that. I'm just going to undo. Before you extrude this, if you take the select tool, you'll notice that this is one entire polyline. What you want to do is right click or context click and explode the curve. That is now going to break it up into four separate segments. You can now take the push pull and just extrude to that face. Good thing to note when you're push pulling this, always try to push pull and infer to a point. Don't just push pull and sort of stop arbitrarily. Make sure you push pull this and you have some sort of reference point. Could be the end point, could be the edge, could be the midpoint, just so long as you have a point there. That's really critical because when I come back through with the eraser, I can erase this front edge and I can erase the back edge to make it nice and clean. And same with this one over here. So there you have it. There's a couple different roof pitches that you can create in SketchUp. See this little guide that's still hanging out here? You can erase guides. You just take the eraser and erase that. You can also go to edit, delete guides. We'll show that a little bit further on as well. So now that you have a basic understanding of how the tools work in 2D, as well as how they work in 3D with some of these roof pitches, we can now begin the workflow of creating a house. And we're going to work from a 2D, from drawing the floor plan based off of our own measurements. And then we're going to extrude those into 3D and add a lot of different detail, like doors and windows, furniture, staircases, ceilings and walls all the detail that any house or any 3D model would have to really create a nice and elegant rendering for our 3D model.